It says, where do you start when you have reason to believe your spouse has fallen out of love with you and you seem to be the only one interested in getting back on track, including having meaningful conversations or seeking counseling, especially when the spouse pretends all is well as long as there aren't any disagreements? So this, I guess kind of the root of this question is one spouse has fallen out of love with the other one, the one's trying to hang on. Uh, how, how do you deal with that? Um, meaningful conversations, seeking counseling. Uh, or, or one of them doesn't feel like there's any problems at all. How do you deal with that? Definitely counseling. <laughs> um, I, think, I think that needs to be your, your first move. Um, and if, if the spouse values the marriage at all, whether they see a problem or not, um, you gotta get, you got to get in counseling together so that they can at least see what, what you're dealing with, so they can understand better why you feel the way that you feel. Yeah, you need to be you need to be okay with hard conversations. Um, the end that says you know as long as there's not disagreement, well you just need you, if there's that kind of problem going on in your marriage, you just need to be okay with disagreements. You need, you need to be okay with it being a little bit more not as peaceful in your house for a while. Um, and the reason just I, the, because there's no fighting yeah, going on doesn't, doesn't mean there's, mean there's no problems. Massive problems. So you need to kind of be okay with fighting more. And, and the, truth, the reason I say that is, now listen, this part, part of this is the whole anger thing and how God working in you. You can't allow those disagreements to get hostile or, you know, ridiculously bad. I mean, I don't know how some of you guys have ever learned to fight, but sometimes it gets really nasty really fast. And you have to be okay with having diff, you know, difficult conversations and not allowing yourself to escalate wherever that person wants to go. Because if you truly want to get to the bottom of, 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 of what's happening, um, you got to be okay with just, just sitting on where it's at and letting it be uncomfortable. Um, trying to smooth things over like everything's fine, you're, part of it's you're allowing it, and part of it is that that's what they, their deepest is that, well, let's just not talk about it, it'll be fine. No, you need to be okay with hard conversations. I mean, you need to be okay with, for a while, if it takes, um, just being kind of a little bit miserable with each other uh, until both of you come to the agreement that there's, there's something to work on. Um, and yeah, are you, are you risking uh, someone leaving? Probably. Um, are you risking it going, getting worse? More than likely. But if you ever want it to get better... It's worth the risk, right? It, it seems to be worth the risk if you really want to, to, to see that get better. I, I say that, though. I'm extraordinarily easy with bad and hard conversations. I know some people that conflict is like they would rather, they'd rather go be a nun or a monk than ever have a hard, you know, difficult conversation. So I say that saying, I know it's easy for me to say, but you need to get there. So, yeah. I would just add... In reading this question, it says when you fall out of love. Yeah. When you, um, and whole bunch of we, just have to, we just have to understand that marriage isn't falling in love or falling out of love. Marriage is about a covenant of love. Yeah. And a covenant of, of love says, I am going to love you regardless of how you love me. I'm going to love you regardless of what you do. And so what we have to do is we have to start with a better definition of what marriage is all about. Um, if we believe that marriage is something that we can, we can, love is something we can fall in or out of, we're going to have all kinds of marital issues. Um, love is a choice, and we have to be able to, we have to have that conversation with our spouse, especially in these difficult situations, is how do you even view our marriage covenant? Yeah. Um, because once we get that defined, then we can begin to take steps of reconciliation and moving forward. But if, if marriage is, is a choice of whether or not we're going to stay in it or out of it, then you're really on rocky ground. We've got to, we've got to establish a covenantal bond uh, because that's what God established marriage as. It's a covenant bond. It's an example of his love for us of which he can never, he will never and can never walk away from us. Yeah. And so marriage was the best example he could give to us yeah. of that covenantal bond that he has with us.